What's going on guys, Rockley AC here. I am with Mr. Jake Zirio. We're here at the Dragon Ball Super Regionals, uh, the first one in Columbus, Ohio. Jake, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Awesome. Uh, how was your day and what did you do today? Uh, I played out top 16, uh, got eighth. Okay. Got kicked out by a mere match. Uh, but I beat my worst matchup, so that was pretty good. Okay. Uh, what? How many rounds was it and how many people again? And it was seven rounds and 93 people. Okay. Cool. And invites were given out to top 12. Okay. How'd your uh, day go by then? Uh, my day yesterday was really easy. Mm -hmm. um, it was mostly Janimba players, and that matchup two and three is super easy. Okay. And it, other than that, it was height and mastery players, which is again super easy two and three. Okay. Why'd you decide to play uh, Pan today? Uh, because my friend gave it to me. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and then how long have you been playing this uh, uh, deck? Pan? Yeah. Uh, I played Pan back in set three, black when it first came out. Sure. And then I played Veggies, and I stuck with Veggies pretty okay. much through the all till set five. Awesome. Nice. Uh, yeah. Let's just go straight to the profile then. So you right. decided to run uh, what version of Pan? Uh, mono Red Pan. Mono Red. Okay. So we have the leader Pan. What she does is whenever you play a unit, you get 5k boost. And uh, if it goes over 20, mm -hmm. goes over 20, you get a draw card. Sure. It is mandatory. Uh, she awakens, she untaps two energy. Okay. And that, I played four. Uh, one drop, intensifying power trunks. It's uh, a GT for chain attack. It's good all around. It helps you awaken in slower matchups. Sure. It's crit. It's never a bad turn one play. Okay. I played the best new card for Pan. Uh, four trunks surge of energies. New set, new card from the anniversary box, right? Yeah. All right. For those who don't know what this does, uh, go ahead and explain it. Uh, whenever you, whenever it is boosted by a skill, you get to draw a card. So when you play it, Pan will boost it by it because that's a skill. Right. And you will draw an additional card. So you'll get to draw two cards on turn two. Busted. Then I played everybody's pal Yamcha, which is my other two draw. Okay. How many? Uh, four. Four. Okay. And uh, what he does is when he attacks, I get to look at the top three for an Earthling. Right. Uh, nice thing about these trunks is both of them are Earthlings, and that's the most common theme in the deck. It's Easy to search, top deck. Yeah. Pretty consistently. Uh, then we have my situational three drops. <laughs> okay. Nice. We have uh, three burst attack uh, Sun Gohans. Okay. They were energy most of the day. Uh, we didn't really play against hand control, right? Uh, we didn't play against hand control, so we didn't play against slug. We didn't play against... Shenron uh, Gogeta? We played against matter. Shenron Gogeta, but they weren't playing hand control. Okay. So... It was just a 15k crit if I ever summoned it. Sure. <clears throat> Other than that, it was energy. All right. We played uh, two double shot. A lot of lists play three, but I cut it down for two to make room for uh, another card. Play, okay. uh, that was uh, the star of my deck for most of really the Really just good early game. Yeah. Yeah. This is really good against aggro. It's energy against other things. Right. Like it's garbage against Janimba because you want to be taking life damage against Janimba. Correct. Uh, two uh, Gloria Obsessed Destruction Vegetas. Interesting. A lot of people don't uh, mainboard this card. Uh, what do you like about this card? Uh, this card gets out of the Janimba Vegeta uh, Vegito matchup. This card gets out of a lot of annoying cards. Would you ever use this against like Kid Ku, like the one drop? Or you uh, yeah, I've Kid used Kid it against Kid Ku before. I didn't play against Kid Ku this weekend, okay. but I've used it to kill the uh, the Android eight. Eight. Sure. <clears throat> and then just attack their leader. It's a solid card. It's generally energy. This is the most useless out of the situational three sure. drops, but yeah. it has its situations. Okay. Then we have uh, Vegeta Agent of Destruction. Another interesting card. Uh, this card is a finisher. Uh, the nice thing about this card is if you're playing against a slow matchup like Janimba, you go first. You can play this card on turn three um, and pop something if they have anything. If not, it's a 20k, 25k. And then okay, when you uh, activate main, it becomes a uh, 30k dual strike, dual attack. And this has a lot of pressure to Janimba. Wow. You've done that a couple times so I have, yeah. Okay. I played it on three with a charge Zeno and then Awakened. Oh, nice. Okay. And to uh, actually turn it into a 35k uh, in one turn. Nice. And the best three drop of the situational kind is Digging Deep Vegeta. Digging Deep. Only two? You wish only, you saw more or two uh, is fine? Two is fine. Because you okay. never want to see one after. You, you only want to see one in a game ever. Sure. Uh, this is for against the slow matchups like Mill and Shenron. It gets two life out of your... Uh, it helps yourself awaken. It gives you double attack. It gets combos out of their hand. Okay. This is a very grind decky uh, build of Pan. It's not super hard aggro. 
Then we played four Fearless Man after I just said it's not aggro. <laughs> You, you love the four uh, number right there. Uh, I love four because I want to see this every game no matter what. Sure. Uh, against, I guess it's the worst in mill. But, sure, yeah. Uh, against Height and Mastery, I want to see this because I want to at least have a blocker. Against Senran Gogeta, I want to see this because I want to have a blocker. Against Broly, I want to see this. It's a blocker. Against everything else, it's hyper aggro. Okay. We played uh, three for Seeing Hit. Nice. Uh, for Seeing Hit is just a solid MVP. Does what it does. Uh, take lets me see my opponent's hand, gives me information. What was the best card you ripped out uh, or played? I that ripped you did? out two Gogetas, then uh, died the next turn. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that, I ripped out two Height of Mastery, so he had nothing to evolve into for Victory Strike and just died. Broken. <clears throat> I'm gonna play the best four drop in the whole deck. Chain Attack Trunks. So good. Uh, this card's a monster. I'll let you cheat out a 15 or less from your head to hand, end of the battlefield. Also, it can attack standing cards. Yes, a lot of people forget that. <clears throat> so, it helps you get out of some really niche situations, like say he has the two drop Goku that only pops, that lets two, uh, two or less can attack. Sure. Evolve this over a one drop and then you can just go ham. Alright. Uh, chain attack trunks is for uh, the ultimate resells, reset button, Zeno. Favorite card right there? Uh, this, yeah. It was, Zeno is just how you win so many matchups, because you you're right. you going to do anything about Zeno? Uh, they're probably going to ban Zeno. Who knows, they're... probably. Bandai hates fun, so they're just going to <laughs> ban fun cards. Uh, then four Earthling super combos. We play this one specifically because it's an Earthling. Best one for it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, and that's nothing special. It's just at four life draw. It's also a 10k. Yeah. Uh, uh, Automatic 10k if you need it. Then we have some, uh, techs. I okay. played one time patrol trunks. Okay. Just to see, uh, just as a cheap overrealm. Sure. Then I played my other overrealm card was one scientist foo. Uh, there was a debate if I was gonna play scientist foo in the main or if I was gonna play the anniversary foo. foo? The foo in my uh, sideboard. Okay. Um, in the How'd main. How'd this perform for you? Uh, I cast it once and won the game, so it, it did oh. scientist foo things. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I played uh, one Frieza. Awesome. Obviously, uh, I never cast this all weekend. <laughs> Would you uh, sometimes uh, charge it just to scare people? Uh, Throw people off. <laughs> <laughs> In certain matchups, I charge it because we knew I knew I'd never get into it. Right. If I mold and found this against Broly, that goes straight in the charge. Yeah. There's okay. nothing like that does. Other than that, it uh, yeah, it, it, it wrecks. So it like lets you see information. Yeah, of course. It lets you see information. It lets you. It's a 45k quadruple strike that wipes their board and lets you pick any card out of their hand. So if you of somehow course. get it, which is kind of easy with digging deep, yeah. if you get it, I just never saw it or got milled all weekend. So. Sure. Then I played uh, three. Is that all you got? Okay. This helped out in uh, what matchup? Uh, this is for the Pan matchup and the Kid Koo matchup. Okay. Nice. Makes and sense. circumstantially against uh, Haida Mastery and circumstantially against like other things. Uh, okay. Against Janimba, it's nice to actually put one of their 20Ks to 5K and threaten uh, against all odds so they don't get the mill. Okay. Because then it, they'll die before it happens. Uh, other than that, it's just a one mana negate. You could draw drop a card to give two things, minus 15K. Sure. Then I played three after image. It should have been four after image. But four? It's... Okay. You like, you'll like that number better. Yeah. Probably. Uh, this card's super weird. <laughs> oh, it's not Let, a negate. Letting them still combo is just so feels bad. <laughs> also, why does um Kojita have barrier? <laughs> they lost very game. Neglect, right? <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, that should be a card touch, but uh then I played the best there. best card in the whole deck. This one meme uh so many games. I played two main board minus killy zones. Hell yeah. The, uh, against Broly and against, against both versions of Broly, this card's just nuts. MVP. MVP. Easy. I, it's almost never got sided out unless I was playing against Janimba. Okay, yep. <coughs> nice main board. And you then we'll go to the sideboard. Sure. We uh, play the Janimba hate package. We play four Tension Hans. Maximize on four. Was that very helpful? Uh, yeah. Uh, it lets me see it in case it gets milled. It's it's just super good. So good against, yeah. Uh, against yeah. Janimba as well, we play this. Great card. Uh, just anytime they would use an auto and negate uh, any skill. Uh, from a card they'd play on a turn that you're going off, 
Uh, Have you ever played this when you had like a couple bodies on board? I've, I've played this when I, uh, I had the nuts against a Janimba player. I a fearless panned and then I untapped two energy and played this yeah, when I had broken. three dudes on board. Nasty. And the Janimba player lived, but he had one card in hand. Wow. That's broke. <clears throat> so good. Then I played three Haruharas. This card was either worthless or the best card in the deck. <laughs> Depending on matchup. This card's super weird and niche. So like against the decks, like against the green yellow decks right now, you don't want to. Pan wants to play like a bitch, uh, like a bitch against them. Sure. And you don't want to like go super hard. Like against Height of Mastery, against uh, Green Broly, you, you don't want to aggro their life because then they get more options. Makes sense. But th against the uh, Shalai Lomo deck, this this card was a straight house. Yeah. That that 15, 20 k almost even. Yeah. Uh, crit pressure. Then I played two Mercenary Taos. <laughs> Literally never sighted this card once, but never saw Slug. Never saw Slug. Okay, I never think there was a Slug him. in the top cut though. So. There was not. There was not? Okay. Two Granoa, because you have to play two Granoa nowadays. Yeah. Uh, one more Killy Zone. Okay. And the really bet against Frieza. You ever sighted it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Against, uh, I didn't see any Friezas, but I saw, saw one. There's a Frieza swap, I know, but then there's another, like, uh, uh, I, Frieza I saw one Heightened Mastery. Okay. And the Heightened Mastery matchup has a lot of CBLs, so. And I played two Supreme Kai of Time. Okay. Uh, this is good for the mirror match or any weird rogue aggro deck. Yeah, like drop it on Broly, even green. Or yeah. This, uh, yeah. A lot, a lot of good uses. This is just better card. than Killy Zone. So, like, if I'm playing against Broly, this goes in for Killy Zone just because yep. I could play it on their one drop. Can't attack with one. Uh, can't attack even with the one. Two, two, so. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> the awkward thing is I can't attack on my turn either, but because I don't want to be doing life damage to them, okay. it's fine. Nice. Well, uh, any changes you would make to the deck aside from uh, that fourth after image? Uh, I would somehow ban uh, Gogeta Shenron. Other okay. than that. Fair enough. <laughs> no. Awesome. Well, I don't uh, think anything. Any shout outs before we head uh, out? Shout out to Luis Pertilla for letting me borrow the deck. Luis! Shout out to Sean McVicker shout for out keeping to Sean. the victory strike alive. Yo, best judge in the Midwest. Let's go. Look at that crack of smile. He's feeling cute. He is feeling cute. He might ban me later. Okay, anyways. Uh, shout out for Castro for recording this. What up? Uh, shout out for Zeke for going X2 in the... X2. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Uh, Zeke X2 just drop. started like... X3 drop, excuse me. He just started like two days ago. He was playing Pan too, but he sucks, so it's okay. <laughs> awesome, well, uh, great job, Jake, again, on your performance, and uh, we'll see you later. Nationals in Chicago, baby. Peace. Peace.